anxiety in your everyday life. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you understand. A lot of you are probably going through the same thing. Um, it's an ongoing battle, I think. If I do this, this person's going to feel, think bad about me. Mm -hmm. But then now I don't look at it that way. It's not that I don't care about what people say about me. Obviously, we're human beings and we care. But it's, it comes from a place where I know who I am. At the moment, we are second guessing ourselves. We are anxious and we fear what other people might say about us. We want to be loved by others, but are we loving ourselves? That's the question, isn't it? How to free yourself from judgment, how to deal with anxiety, and other tips, other healthy tips so that you can live your life to the fullest. In this video, I've got a very special guest, my life partner and business owner, Ryan Smith. Ryan battled with anxiety for many years and has had his business for over 12 years. Ryan has not only helped me personally to grow personally but also professionally. Welcome to today's video. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. This might be useful for someone that you know. If you're new to my channel here, welcome to the community and please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Hello and welcome to a day in the life of not knowing exactly what to do. I think we're all in the situation right now because of lockdown, obviously, that, well, the world's been turned upside down. We might have taken jobs we didn't want. We might have, you know, we might have done well, some of this thing, some of this uh, might become, might have been very successful for people. They might have started a business and become very successful and even more happy than they were before. Um, I don't know what you think of, of um, what lockdown's done for you. Has it done a good thing or a bad thing? Or I think the lockdown, I've learned a lot. I think I needed to grow and I needed to expand. And um, I, feel, I feel bad for the people that have lost their, their relatives and their friends. Obviously, and their jobs. Their, exactly, and their jobs. And their, their the livelihood. Some, some people have lost their houses. Some people you know, are really well. struggling, and, yeah. And, yeah, so I mean, obviously family is the biggest loss, of course. Family and loved ones. Yeah, so I think, I think for me, it's I feel very blessed and very, very grateful for what I still have. I mean, I still have a roof on my head. I, I have money coming in. Mm -hmm. I, my family all are well. We all walk out today. So I, I think, if anything, I'm just grateful that we're mm. still here. Yeah, when you have to get up at five o'clock in the morning and, and go to work. Yeah, I'm sure you're really <laughs> grateful for that. But obviously with a bit of conditioning and uh, mindfulness, I think you actually enjoy once you get up. And How has the productive. lockdown been for you? It's made me lazy. <laughs> I, have, I haven't played football. I have just been lazy. I've just been eating loads of chocolate. And, you know, I really need to practice some more mindfulness. There is one thing we're doing right. We're doing very, very well. And we have stayed consistent doing that for the past two Eating and a half weeks. Eating chocolate. No, oh. no. Two and a half weeks we've been, we've been having a, a smoothie, a very, yes, very healthy that's smoothie true, yeah. that has helped both our health, mm -hmm. our physical health. Yeah. So that we have stayed consistent. I've seen a major significant change in, in how I feel. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I don't know. I must have explained before that I was suffering from inflammation in my joints um, it was I was on my way to be to be diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis uh, I am not sure I need to go back to the doctor but I have felt normal for the past two and a half weeks <laughs> um, I've done a lot of research but also um, Ryan did some research and we have been taking ginger and turmeric 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 anti-inflammatory natural anti-inflammatory so for any of those suffering from arthritis um or, or any other any inflammations of of you know bad knees whatever mm. you know try try putting some turmeric in some um some smoothies i mean it's a good tip it's not going to hurt you so you might as well try it um, unless you're allergic of course yeah but um but yeah we, we we have added you know just just other fruits uh, non-dairy and, and non-dairy milk and a bit of water. Mm -hmm. We have that every single day. I'm 10 times stronger than what I was. I'm now an ox. I'm just about to grow horns in the top of my head. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happier. I think, I think it, it lifts your spirit to have a smoothie every day, you know, rather than eating, 
you know, the usual. I'm, I'm a builder by trade and, and I just sort of used to eat a lot of fry-ups and, and, you know, stuff. So I think having smoothies is, is, is a, good, um, a good healthy tip just to get that bit of goodness in you. Imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring Marilyn Monroe. Beauty's part of, you know, feeling happy and, and, and you, you're... Um... Well, I, I think that beauty is more than, it's more than just makeup. Yeah, but it's important to, to look good, to feel good, isn't it? Well, to, to well, Your opinion to look good or to, to, to make yourself up to look good, right? Isn't it? I, Says I, he who's got a, you know, haven't had a shave <laughs> today. I think makeup enhances beauty. That's mm -hmm. my personal yeah, opinion about makeup. Yeah, I don't disagree, yeah. And... It does give you that that boost sometimes, you know, when you're feeling low and you put mm -hmm. some makeup and you put some nice, uh, some nice outfit. It does make you, you know, psychologically you bec you you feel better. I mean, I always think I always feel better when I put makeup on, but <laughs> I mean, I've got some. Um, what's that make makeup I've got on? <laughs> I haven't really got any makeup on, although some of you might wear some. But I don't imagine it make me feel better, personally. Hmm. Shall we do that? Let's, <laughs> let's try. Not, let's not try. Why not? No, no, Come no, no. Come on. No, no, I no, I want no. to enhance your beauty. I'm beautiful enough inside, <laughs> thank you very much. I don't need to be beautiful outside. Thank um, you. Yeah, no, I, I, I think this this was just a, um, a catch-up video, just to say... Uh, thank you everybody, you know, for, for following us, uh, following my channel. It's, it's, an, it's been an amazing journey. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan has been, this is his second time being here. Mm. And thank you very much for being here, for, mm. you know. Thank you for having me. Uh, on your channel. <laughs> it's nice. Although last time I got to sort of, well, I was asked to talk about some quite... Um, personal things? Quite personal things, yeah. So to tell quite deep to me. Touching back on, on that particular video. Oh my video. goodness. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, uh, how, how, was, how was that? So, so how have you coped? Uh, obviously you went through anxiety and then obviously uh, you, you came out of it, you know, you oh, recovered as much I as you I dread to think the amount of anxiety out there at the moment with, the, with, with lockdown and, um, and uh, coronavirus, you know, at the moment. I mean, we still have to work in people's houses. Um, yeah, I mean, coronavirus brings an anxiety of its own, I'd say. But um, I learned to manage my anxiety a little bit better, well, be a lot better. Um, I think I'm, the industry I'm in, definitely, it, it <laughs> it's very easy to be anxious about what you're doing when you go to work. When you're working in people's houses, you know, if you put a foot wrong or something, you break something expensive or... You know, there's various different things that you, when you're putting in a, a bespoke piece, a nice piece for someone and, and, you know, the paint job's not right or your employees, you know, do something wrong. Or, yeah, you go home and you think, oh, they're going to moan about this, they're going to moan about that. And, you know, it's, it's very hard to not have anxiety in your everyday life. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you understand. A lot of you are probably going through the same thing. Um, it's an ongoing battle, I think. I, I wouldn't say I'm fully recovered, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know. You manage it. I'm, I, yeah, I, I think I've learned to manage it by educating myself. I mean, I read a fantastic book, um, Anxiety No More, it's called, um, and I can't remember who who wrote it, but um, yeah, Jenny will put a link down here. So. Um, yeah, great book. I mean, I, I advise it to everybody that, that has anxiety. Uh, you know, again, another thing that can't hurt by reading it, so. Do your thing and don't care if they like it, Tina Fey. So advice in this video from us is definitely turmeric and, uh, and reading Anxiety No More so far. <laughs> <laughs> so two, two good things that have we have Have you got done. any advice from any, for anyone to what to do? Yes, I do, I do. There is one thing that I wanted to mention and as part of my personal journey, I think I have learned to speak up for myself. 
I have learned to know a lot of people to put me in a box. Because that's that's fantastic. If you knew Jenny before, <laughs> she was very you're very withdrawn and shy, aren't you? No, At no, times, I was I was times. shy, but I think I think I needed to be a little bit bolder and learn to say no. I, I was I didn't like confrontation before, and I used to avoid it. And because I avoided it, I didn't have this difficult conversation that needed to happen. Mm -hmm. And and, and I think one of those things that I've learned, and I think obviously be, Ryan has helped me a lot. I mean, you, you have, you're an amazing person, but sometimes you are very challenging. <laughs> Nonsense. Of course. Not me. So, um... Most, most partners, men, from talking from men, we're, we're perfect. Come <laughs> close. <laughs> Right, okay, so, um, yeah, no, but uh, as a person, I think I, I've learned to deal with people's comments, and mm, I used to have a lot of, actually, it was anxiety. Well, that's a big factor in a lot of people's lives, is, yeah. you know, that they, they take people's comments more seriously than they, they, they need credit for. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. I think I think I actually used to be anxious about going to someone's house, or I used to, go, you know, be, just be very anxious Oh, someone's going to say this about me. If I do this, this person's going to feel, think bad about me. Mm -hmm. But then now I don't look at it that way. It's not that I don't care about what people say about me. Obviously, we're human beings and we care. But it's, it comes from a place where I know who I am. I love who I am and I know that I, I, do, I don't do things to harm people or to mm -hmm. hurt people because that's not the person that I am. I was brought up to be kind and compassionate and empath empath empathetic. And and I love people, anyways. And that this is something that I figured out. I figured out when I was twenty seven. I, I, I it clicked. I think I find as well that um, you always what what you should think is is if people are talking about you, it means you're doing something right. So you know, irrelevant of if they're talking badly or not, if they're talking about you, it means that they're in your mind. You're in their minds. You're in people's minds, and you're you're making an impact on people, whether it be good or bad. I mean, obviously, you don't want it to be a bad impact, of course, but. Um, Hmm. Yeah, but you should you should definitely not be afraid um, to speak up for yourself. I'm not I'm not saying you need to be rude. That's not what we're saying here because mm -hmm. you know, not it's 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 your emotions are yours and you, you don't have to take it out on other people. That's not what I'm saying. But if you are uncomfortable with something or you don't like something, you need to pull the person and say, okay, listen. This comes from the best place, but I didn't like these and I didn't like that. And you need to communicate that because constructive criticism is very important. Well, the, as well. the person and, might not even realize that they've hurt you. Yeah, but or, if you, you know, criticize someone, um, for those of you that don't know what constructive criticism is, it's basically where you enter into a good comment. So you say something nice about someone and then you tell them the bad thing that you don't like and then you end it with a good comment. So they, they basically take the, the, the good positive things from it. Um, but they still listen to you about the bad thing as well. So constructive criticism, I think, is very important when you're criticising someone or you're yeah, letting not, them know. Yeah, but it's not about co co constructive criticism in this case. Uh, we're talking about communicating standards. Mm. You know, it's just communicating your feelings and communicating what you're willing to accept and what you're, what you're not. Mm. And that's it. Yeah. It's mm. not, you're not criticising the person. You're just criticising how you feel about what they've done. Or, okay. you know, you're saying, well... I understand your point. But it's but still a criticism. No, it's not. <laughs> Isn't it? No. Okay. Because if you've hurt my feelings, if I don't communicate that to you, how are you going to know that you've hurt me? I'm not criticizing that you mm. behave like that. I'm just communicating that you've hurt me. Mm. <laughs> and that, you know, I, I, I would like you to not do the, do that particular thing in the part in the in the future. perhaps you can do it with someone else. Mm -hmm. But I'm just communicating not not with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah standards again mm -hmm. so that's your big tip then, yes really, speak to... up for yourself and yeah communicate your standards and mm -hmm. you know don't be don't be afraid to the only thing the person might say is i i don't i don't appreciate what you're saying or mm -hmm. i mean it, 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 we don't by any means you know not giving advice to go and uh, you know tell people all about themselves so <laughs> don't take that yeah advice that might not be the best thing <laughs> But, um, but yeah, don't, don't be afraid to speak up on, on your emotions. And guys, thank you very, very much for being here. You know, it, it means a lot that, you know, you mm. support my channel. Uh, if, actually, what, what I would like, what we would like to probably find out is in the comments below, if you could um, definitely just 
if there's a good point in life that you think it would be valuable to other people, if you could share that point in the comments, that would be amazing. Um, and, you know, try and make it positive if you can. Um, obviously, negative comments are heard as well, but um, they're not as welcome as no, positive. No, but it could, it could be something like something that you've overcome that can help someone else. Yeah, nice story. That would be good, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, even if you failed, you, you know, you've learned something. I mean, we all need to learn. And if we learn from other people's experiences, we, wouldn't, we, we will be likely not to make the same mistakes, hopefully. I mean, mm. sometimes it doesn't apply, but yeah. If you do have anything like that, a, sh a nice story, a nice tip, or something that you failed, you know, or how good or bad 2021's been to you, you know? Yeah, and don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank <laughs> you so much. Please do. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Bye-bye.